Hi Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am going to be doing your weekly love reading for November 27th through December 3rd. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. Now this is not a private reading so it may not resonate with you. This is a general reading for hundreds and thousands of people. All right. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm going to go out ahead and lay down the cards. And once I have them laid down, I will um, focus the camera. Zoom this in. All right, the basis of your reading is the emperor reversed. I think something must be out of control, okay? There must be, a th things might be a little chaotic, chaotic disorganized, um, insecure. You know, I, this has to do with choices and decisions that have been made. I think that... Perhaps there was a choice that was made that might have been the wrong one, and now there's some consequences, whether it's you or the other person. Um, when the lover's card shows up in a reading, it says that there's consequences regarding a choice, okay? Be prepared to live with them. Perhaps there was another person that entered the picture or has been in the picture, something like that. There's another person, and now you need to decide what is it going to be. You're going to go this way or you're going to go that way, okay? So there is a decision that needs to be made in love, all right? There could be, you know, a pregnancy. Somebody could become pregnant. Just we need to throw that out there. there this is a time of, of fertility for somebody. It's also a time of rebirth, renewal, all right? Some of you could, a secret could have been revealed that has rocked your world, and now, you know, things may be a little chaotic, all right? Um, it feels like you are growing weary of a situation, like you just don't know what to do. It feels like you might feel like quitting or walking away. You might be at the end of your rope. Um, it feels like there is some challenges ahead of you, and this week doesn't, um, it's going to be this week, okay? This week, I think things may feel a little out of control. Um, there could have been some lies, deceit, cheating, something like that. There could have been a third-party situation. Maybe things got a little out of hand, you know, and maybe somebody acted impulsively, it feels like, um, yeah, so a secret's been revealed, and, and I think that is really shaking things up, and it could be regarding a child, I'm not sure. Um, there is a uh, something being handed to you from above, and it is a gift, okay? You're being handed a gift from above for security and stability. So amidst all this trouble, it's going to make you more secure in the end. It is. You're going to feel better at the end of the week, at the end of the day, when this bullshit is all over. It could take months, put it that way. Whatever's going on is pretty heavy. There's some heavy energy here, and it looks like there's consequences. So I'm not sure what those consequences are, but for somebody, there's some consequences. could be you or the other person you're dealing with. I think that... Um, yeah, somebody didn't think about the consequences. They didn't think that something was going to come out in the open, that it was going to become known, but now it's here, and now it's time to face the truth. Um, that's what I see. Uh, one door could possibly be closing, but it brings you, it opens up a much better door for you, so if that door needs to close, just, just let it go. Even if you're wounded, even if you're hurt, you know, just let it go because it will pay off in the end, believe it or not. There is a silver lining here. Um, you are being urged to follow your own path, all right, with the Hierophant card up there. Believe in yourself, okay? Believe in who you are. Whatever happens is meant to be. Trust it. 
Trust your own path. Go with it, okay? Um, I'll tell you who you're dealing with here. You're dealing with a Taurus. You're dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a Pisces, and you're dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. That's what I see so far. Um, Taurus is pretty prominent with that Hierophant card right there, right up at the middle. I think that that has something to do with it. Maybe there's been, um, and with the High Priestess card, you know. And this, there's, this, it, for some of you, you have a soulmate. Okay, some of you have a soulmate, could be a Taurus. This represents Taurus, this also represents Taurus. And this is the lover's card, which can signify a soulmate. So, you know, whatever's happening is bringing you closer to your soulmate. So I, I would suggest you just go with it, um, even if it hurts, even if it brings a little chaos. Um, it's, I think it's a time of renewal, absolutely. Time of rebirth, okay, with these two cards. Um, it's like you're having a wake-up call, and it's time to release the past. So do it. Just release the past. Move forward. It doesn't matter what society thinks, okay, with this emperor reversed. It's not about them, okay? It's about you, and you need to do the right thing for you, all right? So just remember that. Do the right thing for you. Um, I'm going to start shuffling this deck. I think there's a choice that needs to be made in love and uh, you know do you do you stay where you're at do you or do you move forward and I think that if you move forward it's going to lead you towards your soulmate all right you absolutely need to let go of the past this is the six of cup reversed Six of Cups, reversed. If you're thinking about reminiscing about the past and how things used to be, you know, or you're thinking about your childhood and it's bringing up some old wounds because we have wounds here, you need to forgive that. You need to let go. It is time to shed the past. It is. It's time to take the practical approach. It's time for you to... use your inner discipline okay you need to use your inner discipline to control your emotions okay you need to really remain in control do not lose control of this situation like don't lose your temper okay keep control of your temper during this time Okay, whatever has happened is going to bring peace back to your life, even though it may not be peaceful right now. I think this week may be a little chaotic. There may be some arguing going on, maybe even some screaming, hollering, yelling, fighting, you know, and you're really going to need to remain in control of your emotions and really consider the consequences of your actions. All right. Really consider that because, you know, there, it could bring some, some legal actions if you don't, all right? You do need to do the right thing for you. You do. You do need to do the right thing for you, but be careful, okay? Because we have, a, I see in several spots that consequences, consequences, co there's consequences for your actions, okay? Or somebody else's actions. So that have to be you. It can be the person that you are are dealing with, Okay. Now we have this death card reversed. It tells me that there's a renewal is needed. It's time for a transformation, but you are resisting it. You're resisting the change. You're not listening. You're not paying attention. We have the high priestess twice, okay? The secret has been revealed, and it's time for you to really focus on that and figure out what your next step is. All right. You need to listen to your inner guide when you're making this decision. Trust your intuition. Trust it. Use silence and inner power. Use your silence and your inner power, your inner knowing, your inner guide to come up with the resolution to this conflict. There is a conflict here. Okay. 
And it may bring some legal issues. And, it, and you know what? You can handle that. You can. You have the resources within you to handle it just fine. Don't lose your cool. All right? Keep it together. All right? I think there's been a secret that's come out regarding probably some cheating or some lying. Okay? And now, you know, now it's cause now it's time to pay the pay the piper. I don't know who it is. Either it's you or the other person. Now it's time to pay the piper. And believe it or not, amidst all this chaos and and um ugliness, you will have a rebirth. You will, this card will flip and you will have a transformation. The transformation isn't going to happen, happen this week because this week is about making a decision. What are you going to do now? Do the right thing for you, okay? Be honest. This justice card also says be honest. This is about a Libra as well. Okay, be honest. Do the right thing. Justice, do the right thing. Follow your inner guide. Do the right thing. You, you can't ignore this anymore. The time has come for this to be put out on the table, to pay the piper. Whether it's you or the other person, don't lose your cool. Keep your shit together. Because that will cause even more consequences, okay? Go with your inner guide. Above all, go with your inner guide, okay? That's going to give you the answers that you need. You have the High Priestess twice and the Hierophant. <coughs> the answers are within you, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. Actions speak loudly. Express your love through actions. Sometimes saying that you love somebody is not enough. What is required is showing someone how you feel. Put someone's needs before your own. Could be this Libra. Could be the Taurus. Could be the Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I don't know who it is. Could be any sign. It could be the Libra. And there's a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo right here. I don't know. And that card's right here. So, you know, it could be any sign. Sometimes saying that you love somebody is not enough. What is required is showing someone how you feel. Put someone's needs before your own. You are being asked to do something that will show you love. That will show your love. You are being asked to do something that will show your love. Do the right thing. Be honest. Follow your intuition and be prepared. To live with the consequences of your decision. That's what the lover's card says. And we have consequences in other cards here too. Okay? We do. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your decisions. Of your actions. That's what I see. If you want to know more about me, you can watch my Let's Talks videos that are done live or check out my welcome video or join my group. Or I hope you enjoyed your reading and I will talk to you later.